Good afternoon viewers. We welcome you to CEC Adusat Network. Today we are starting a series of three lectures and these three lectures will be covering interview skills, personality de development and soft skills. And all these three topics I shall be covering. I will give you brief introduction. My name is Dr. Subhash Kakkar. I am PhD from FMS Delhi University, MBA also from FMS Delhi University, BE Mechanical from Delhi University. I am Six Sigma Master Black Belt from ISI Delhi and I am SAP R3 PP Consultant. Today we shall be devoting time on interview skills. These are very important to attend the interview so that we are able to achieve our goal and our objective of getting a job in the company. What should be our aim? What should be our preparation to get this job done, to get this goal achieved? And we shall be devoting time on these aspects of the interview skills. And I am working as director in a management institute in Delhi and providing education as well as placement to the students. I know what is the importance of interview skills and how students are prepared to get the jobs of their choice. And we shall be today discussing some aspects of interview skills. We know that some students technically they are really very good, but they lack in interview skills and they are not able to crack the interviews and they are not able to get the job of their choice. So today we shall be devoting time on the interview skills so that we are able to get the jobs of our choice and moreover get the jobs at our own terms. Interview skills basically covers technical skills as well as some portion of soft skills which are a must in any individual to get the jobs of their choice. I have termed it hit the hot buttons. Why hot buttons? Because we are sitting on the hot seat. Interview are taken and people are sometimes nervous also. There should not be any need to be nervous, but if our preparation is really good, we will attend the interview very comfortably. And now we shall be covering, rather uncover paradigms decoded interviewers have their own agenda when sit in on an interview. The people who are taking the interview, they have their own agenda in front of them based on what they conduct the interviews. On the other hand, the candidates who are attending the interviews, they have their own agenda in front of them. Their main agenda is to get the job. Whatever the job is there, they are appearing for the interview and the final aim is to get the job and how to get it we shall be discussing today. Interview strikes fear in the hearts of almost all. When we know that we have to attend the interview, a fear is there whether questions will be asked to us which we know or the questions will be asked to us which we do not know. Even if we know the answers to the questions which will be asked in the interview, whether we shall be able to deliver the reply or the answers in a manner which is liked by the interviewers. And this fear is always there in our heart in front of us. Being put in the hot seat makes it worse. When we are sitting for the interview, it becomes really worse also. But there should not be any panic after attending this lecture, one will have confidence to attend any type of interview and in any situation. If you focus on hirers' requirements, you can land the job of your dreams 
and for that know the heart buttons. What are those heart buttons? We shall be discussing today. These heart buttons are skill sets required for the particular job, accomplishments, what has been achieved by the candidate that should be in front of him, initiative, leadership, compatibility, confidence, communication skills, and then connectivity. These are some of the heart buttons which I have named them and these are important to be studied in depth so that we face the interview with full confidence and in an effective manner. Interview skills, basically we want to hit the target and the target is to achieve the job for which we are sitting for the interview. Why? Why we learn interview management skills? What is the aim in front of us? Basic aim is most of all we want. What we want? To get the job at our own terms. And after that, we require money also. We should be paid handsome money for that particular job. This is our aim. First is we want to get the job and then we want sufficient money for that particular job also. How to get it? We are discussing today. Can we leave it on its own? Can we leave it on its own? Meaning is without doing anything, without doing any preparation for it, can we sit for the interview? I do not think it is possible or I do not think we can afford it. No, answer is no. We cannot afford to lose the interview, lose the job for which we are sitting for the interview. What should we do then? We should do something for that and we had here to discuss what should be done to get the jobs. One is personality development and communication skills should be good enough for the job. Types and methods of the interviews we have to discuss, we have to know. Do your homework, build confidence, interview etiquettes, dress code, etc. we should know. And we should know the illegal interview questions also and interview success factors also we should know so that we are able to crack the interview at our own terms. Interview skills, there are seven steps to great interviews. What are these steps? We shall be discussing in today's lecture. One important lesson which I want to tell you to my viewers is that you are to tell your strengths on your own, whether these are asked or these are not asked. You have to tell the interviewers what your strengths are. So how to do that? You have to beat your drum louder yourself. Do not expect that somebody else will come and tell your strengths to the interviewers. You are there to tell the, the strengths to the interviewers so that they should know what you can do and how much useful you can be to the organization. So, beat your drum louder yourself. Some more tips for the successful interview. You have tools always to have the advantage in an interview and that those tools should be practiced thoroughly before sitting for the interview. You should be able to communicate your strengths whether you are asked or not asked. So you should do it yourself. You have to tell the others your strengths whether these are asked or these are not asked. You are perceived as adding the most value to the organization. There, your aim should be you should be able to tell rather you should be able to convince the interviewers that you are the person who will add the most strength and most value to the organization. If they hire him, it is well, it is good for the organization. If they do not hire, it is a loss to the company or to the organization. You are to tell in the interview. The way you are going to tell, we are discussing it today. 
some more tips for successful interview. Good preparation requires time, thought, organization and practice. So, time is here, you should devote time in the preparation for the interview and you should have good thoughts and organize yourself for the interview and practice, practice and practice again and again so that you are able to do well in the interview. The interview is a dialogue, basically it is a dialogue between you and the interviewers. This is an opportunity to ex exercise power and you decide what you reveal about yourself and how you present and deliver the information regarding yourself to the interviewers. It is up to you, but how to do it? You should learn it. What you say is only 7 percent of your communication. This is the word choice. We are now discussing interview communication is both verbal and non-verbal. Some things we tell verbally to the interviewers, but some things we tell without speaking anything. Our body language tells lot of things to the interviewers and how should we behave, how should we act that is very important. First point, what you say is only 7 percent of your communication and you should have a good word choice when you are narrating something in the interview. How you say the words accounts for 38 percent, the way you deliver the information or your reply to the interviewers that counts 38 percent of your communication and this is the vocal tone, the tone you use, the way you express yourself, the way you express the replies and you answer the questions that counts 38 percent. A nonverbal, nonverbal communication accounts for 55 percent of your communication. This covers postures, gestures, facial expressions and body movements or body language and this covers 55 percent. So, verbal communication is meager but the way you speak that counts a lot and your body language also counts a lot and you have to take care of your body language and the way you speak, the way you narrate your answers that is very important. We have seen the 38 percent is the way you deliver the answer and 55 percent is non-verbal that is your body movement and the body language which you are using in expressing yourself, your replies you have to show the confidence at every stage and you have to tell that you are going to be a big asset to the company and you are going to be a team member in the company and giving results to the organization, adding bottom line to the organization for which you will be selected. That is given by your <coughs> body language, that sort of confidence you have to tell it to the others and then, then you are also tell it to the interviewers that you need this job and you will be able to fulfill the requirements of the management of the organization. The magic pills, there are four magic pills I have counted. Eye contact, you have to maintain eye contact with the interviewers. Do not feel shy of the interviewers, you have a eye contact with the interviewers and then give your answers and your replies and you should be smiling. You, smiling means you have to improve your face value at all the time when you are sitting in the interview room. And then handshake and greeting, that is again very important when you enter the interview room and you, you have to greet the people, you have to handshake also and if it is required. And the way you handshake it is a body language and that should give us that you are confident and you have a good posture. When you are coming, you are sitting for the interview, you should have a good posture and you should show that you are alert and you are not lazy person. Now, we shall be discussing 
12 by 12 by 12 theory. What is it? People judge you first from 12 feet away. You are entering the interview room where the board is sitting or the interviewers are sitting. You open the door, walk inside the room, come closer to the interviewers and in this time gap, you are being judged how you enter, how you walk, what sort of confidence you show, everything is being observed by the interviewers. And this is, they judge you from 12 feet distance. 12 feet distance means the distance between the door and your seat in front of the interviewers is approximately 12 feet. So, initial 12 feet are again crucial when you walk inside the interview room. And again, you have to show the confidence, you have to show the respect to the interviewers and that should be your aim. And some people, when they come inside, they are carrying a bag, okay? And they are not able to hold the bag and it gets thrown on the floor sometimes and then they start picking up their things and they, then it gives a wrong impression to the interviewers. You should show the confidence. Everything should be tidy. If you have a bag, it should be tidy. It should be held by you in your hands firmly so that nothing should fall from your hands. And with confidence, you are moving inside the room and greeting the interviewers, maybe wishing them, maybe handshaking. And then with confidence, you are to approach them because you are being judged. The moment you enter the door, everyone will look at you. And that is approximately 10 to 12 feet. That's why the 12 by 12 theory, first 12 feet again are very important, okay? When you cover first few steps. Next is, then they judge you from 12 inches away. When you go closer to them, then you are judged from the 12 inch distance, okay? They see your confidence in more detail and they make some impression about you first from 12 feet and then from 12 inches distance. From the 12 inches distance, you are going to greet them. You are going to show the respect and then you are to handshake at that time. So you are now judged from 12 feet distance and then from 12 inches distance. And next is again and then they judge you based on the first 12 words of your mouth, first 12 words which you speak at that time, they will make some impression about you, what you are speaking, with what confidence you are speaking, so they will make an impression about you. And this is the 12 by 12 by 12 theory, 12 feet distance, then 12 inches distance, and the 12 first words which you speak when you enter the interview board or you are facing the interviewers. So you are being judged based on 12 by 12 by 12. It's a very common thing, okay? And entire impression is made in this 12 by 12 by 12 theory. And then your interview starts. So first, you have to give a very good impression when you are walking inside the interview, interview room and when you go closer to the interviews and when you speak first sentence. There are seven steps to great interviews. Types of interviews, do your homework. What is this? Under this heading, you have to prepare yourself for the interview. We shall be discussing in detail what sort of preparation is required for the interview. Here, we will be very careful that answers and the questions which are expected we should know very well in advance and we should prepare them well. And we have to finally build the confidence. With confidence only we can have the job in our lab. Otherwise, if we are not confident, nobody is giving, going to give us the job for which the interview is being held. And then we have to have good etiquettes and dress sense and the dress code also. Questions. And interview success factor, we should know. 
what are the success factors for the interview. And we should also know the pitfalls and we should avoid them. And what is interviewing? An interview is basically a meeting in order to get to know each other. Interviews want to know us and we want to know the interviewers, their organi organization, details of the job, what is the culture in the organization and all these things we want to know. And similarly, the interviewers want to know whether we have good qualification for the job for which we are being interviewed. Do we have good experience for the job? Do we have motivation to have this job? What is our attitude towards the job? They want to know and they will know only by asking us some questions and from our replies they will make up their mind whether we are suitable for the job or not. A conversation about possibilities. Interview is nothing but a conversation about the possibilities, possibilities of selection and maybe possibilities of rejection. A chance to learn about the company. It is a chance given to us to know in depth regarding the company. We can ask the questions to the interviewers. They can also ask the questions and we can also ask the question. Maybe they will be asking 10 questions and we shall be asking only one or two questions. But we have a right to ask the questions of our own choice regarding the information we want to know from the interviewers. And then it is an opportunity to present yourself optimally. Again, it is a given, it is an opportunity which is given to us so that we are able to present ourselves in the interview to the interviewers. Do your homework very, very well. Under this again we are discussing an interview is not a life or death situation. Do not consider that this is a life or death situation. If you lose something, lose in the interview, nothing is going to fall, heavens are not going to fall. We will get some other opportunity to show our strengths, but in this particular interview, we have to behave in a proper way. We should not fear that it is going to be life and death situation for us and we are not going to get another chance. You will get another chance if you are not successful. If you are successful, it is very good. If you are unsuc unsuccessful, you will get another chance somewhere else. Something else is waiting for you which may be better than this present interview. And do your homework. An interview is not a test, a one-way street. It is again not a one-way street. Okay, we can have both way communication. We can ask the questions. Similarly, interviewers can ask the questions. When interviewers can ask the questions, there is nothing wrong that the individual will also ask the questions regarding the information he wants from the interviewers regarding the organization. And yet, it is an artificial situation. It is an artificial situation where fear is also there and you are sitting on the hot seat. And you will be judged from the very first minute as we have discussed in the 12 by 12 by 12 theory. Preparation is the key to success. You want to have a success? and you want to have a successful interview and you want that you should be selected in the interview, you have to prepare, prepare and prepare. And these are the steps which one should follow to appear for some interview. Review own skills, experiences and qualities. Check your CV thoroughly, it should be well prepared. And based on that CV which you are presenting in the interview. You should know what you have written in the CV because the questions will be asked from the CV. Starting from maybe your name and till your experience etc is over. 
interviewers will ask the question. They can ask you to which place you belong to. You should know exactly the place where it is situated, what is the important things for that particular place and other things regarding who are the leaders which have come from that place. You should be able to tell it to the others. And they can ask you regarding your family also. You must have written your father's name. Somebody will ask you regarding your father, your mother, your siblings, and you should have a good answer to reply. And anticipate questions and identify relevant examples based on the CV. And now you are preparing for the interview. Take out your CV and list down the questions which can be asked based on your CV and whatever information you have given in the CV. Prepare them well. Write down the questions on a piece of paper and write your answer also. And you can also get the answer checked by somebody who is in this field so that you are well prepared for the replies which can be asked in the interview regarding your CV. And then prepare key selling points. Mind it, here you have to sell yourself. You have to tell your strengths to the interviewers in such a way that he, they are confident that this is a person who will add value to our organization. And now you have to research organization. Here on two, two sides you have to prepare. One is you have to prepare yourself for the interview and regarding other you have to prepare yourself for the organization. And this information will be received by you from other sources. On one side you have to prepare yourself your own CV and what you have written and your answers to the anticipated questions. Now regarding the organization for which you are being interviewed, you have to get the information maybe from the website regarding the production line and the operation and the operations of this organization, what are the challenging challenges ahead of them, what are the projects they are handling, how many workers are working, who are their competitors, what is their standing in the industry, that everything you should know and what all projects they are going to handle in the future, you should be aware of this. Contacts with knowledge of organization are the sector in which the organization is working. Relevant articles in the press which are available, you should go through those articles. And personal visit or telephone call should be made so that you are aware of the operations of this particular organization. And the research job and occupational area. Job description, whatever is given to you, you should get in-depth knowledge of that job detail. And what are the current issues being faced in this particular job, you should be aware of that. And prepare your questions and then prepare your answers and the practice. Again, I will repeat practice three times because practice can take you to get this job which is of your own choice and you want this job at your own terms. Successful interviews, making the most of the interview, how to make it, we have to discuss. Just an overview of this process, preparing for the interviews which we just started how to prepare yourself for the interview, the interview experience, questions to expect and to ask. Here one important thing I want to share with the viewers is that they will be asking you questions, questions, questions and you will be replying those questions and then finally you will also be given a chance. And they will ask you, do you want to know anything from us? At this stage, don't say no. Answer to this question is, yes, I want to know. 
some of the information. And for that, you should be ready with your questions. You should be asking them good questions because based on your questions, they will be judging your mind. What do you have in your mind at this stage? What do you want to know about the company? You can ask, what are your future plans for the growth? This type of question you can ask. You can also ask how well you are able to attend to the last crisis. You can also ask how did you manage your operations during the last economic recession? And these are the questions you should be asking. Or you should have your own questions which you want to know from the interviewers. And this gives a good impression on the interviewers. And most of the people, most of the candidates just say, no, sir, I don't want to ask. This gives a very bad impression. Okay? When you are given a chance, you should be asking questions. Maybe not many questions, two, three questions, which give your frame of mind to the interviewers. And then there are different types of interviews and assessment centers are there, psychometric tests are there, interview resources are there. Interview, a meeting with an objective. It is a meeting with an objective in mind, okay, maybe getting information from the candidate and the candidate getting information from the interviews and finally they are coming to a final decision whether the candidate is selected or not selected. Employer's objective is to find the best person for that particular job. Their aim is to get the best person. Reviews employer, reviews candidate's experience and abilities. Can you do the job? They will be asking you. They want to know skills, abilities, and qualifications, these three things. The employer or the interviewer wants to know from the candidate and wants to make sure that the candidate is able to do the job for which he is being interviewed. Will you do the job? Interest, attitude, and motivation factor. By assessing whether you will like to do the job or not. How will you fit into the organization? Personality trait is being checked. So here, three factors are there on which you are being judged in the interview. First is skills, abilities, and qualifications. And then finally, interest, attitude, and motivation. How much you are motivated for that job? How much interest you have for this particular job? They want to know. And then, do you have a personality to do this particular job or not? They want to know. And you, and you want to impress employer and assess position on offer. You want to know the details of the job which is being offered to you. What does this position offer me? You want to know it from the interviewers. You want to get the details. How does it fit with my career plans? You have your own career plans. Where does this job fit in the career growth plan which you have made for you? And congratulations, you have passed the first hurdle. This is the process we are discussing, the interview process. And you must prove that you are the most suitable candidate for this position. If you are selected, the organization is going to get benefit out of it. If you are not selected, definitely you have to show that organization is going to lose. Watch the body language. Body language, language is very important. You should have the body language to show that you are confident. You are interested in this job. And this is the job you are looking for. First impression, very powerful depending on the hollow effect or devil effect. Hollow effect is if the first impression is good, you will be considered good for every other aspects of this interview or the job for which you are being offered. And devil effect, if you are judged in the first few minutes as a bad candidate, whatever effort you make, they, you will not be re able to remove this impression from the minds of the interviewers. Allow, allow time to relax. Dress 
appropriately and entrance introductions and handshake which are very important the way you do gives a lot of information about you to the interviews smile and make eye contact with the interviews always smile and make an eye contact the person who is asking you the questions and to whom you are replying you should have a eye contact with that person that shows your confidence be aware of own movements how you are moving you should be careful and you should know what you are doing and what is the idea behind it watch body language of the interview and when you are sitting in the interview room and typical questions now we shall be discussing typical questions which are asked in the interview and you prepare yourself for these kind of questions about you normally people will ask you tell me about yourself they will ask you tell me something about yourself bring me up to date with your cv so these are the questions which they, they will be asking you why did you choose that particular degree program why did you study engineering why did you study mba they will be asking you you should have ready answers available with you at that time you should not be searching for your replies or searching for your answers that those answers should be ready with you and you should be giving prompt replies to your questions okay they will be asking you what sort of subjects you have opted in your graduation maybe you have said operations research and you should know the meaning of operations research because immediately they may ask you what do you mean by operations research in one or two lines you should be able to tell them your answer regarding operations research subject financial management again you should have a ready answer with you one or two lines and you should be telling it to the interviewers what experience have you had that is relevant to this post they will be asking you the relevant experience you have again you should have a ready answer for that what would you consider your major achievements to date these are the common questions which are asked and then at that time you should have a list of your achievements and that list with the examples also if you say i have a good organizing capability and this organizing capability you should have a good example to show that you worked on one of good projects where you used your organizing capability and you got the success and regarding the job also they will be asking you question what interests you about this particular job and again you should be ready with your answer what do you know about this organization as we discussed you have already researched about this organization through websites through press through newspapers through magazines etc and you have to tell to the interviewers what do you know about this organization what other options are you considering they will be asking you such type of questions what other options do you have if you are not selected here what is the option available with you and again you should have a good answer you should not be telling that this is the only place where i have applied and i have come for the interview no other place i have applied so this is a bad answer you should be frank and give your true answer to the interviewers that i have applied to one two three places and out of these three places i like this place the most so again you have to answer in a positive way how do you see your career developing in next 5 years where do you want to see after 5 years this is a normal question which the interviewers ask and again you should be ready with your answer and you should be able to tell them regarding your career growth plan maybe after 1 year you will be having this position after 3 years you will be having this position and maybe after 5 years this is a position which you are looking for and you have to tell it to the interviewer and for that you should be ready with your answer and this will be only possible when you have prepared well for the interview general knowledge what do you think of government's policy on college fees 
this can be a question to you. So, this is regarding the general knowledge. Similarly, what is your opinion regarding a particular aspect which is in the news nowadays? People can ask you regarding elections in Pakistan because this is a current affair and you should be having a ready answer with you. And this is only pos possible if you have prepared well. Other type of questions which can be asked, what if? I name these questions as what if questions. No experience, how are you likely to respond to a situation in this particular job? And you should be ready with your answer that, sir, in no course of time, I will be able to learn the details of this particular job and I will be contributing to the organization by doing this job. Probing questions are also asked. How exactly did you deal with this particular situation? A situation will be narrated and you will be asked how will you deal with this situation? And again, you should have a ready answer with you. How did you know it worked? How did you feel about the outcome? Because you will be put to a hypothetical situation and now you are to give the answer. I will do this and this will be the result. And people will be asking you, how are you sure that you will get this result? This is again your own confidence and you will be able to convince the interviewers. Could you have handled it differently? They will be asking you different options. So, if options are there, you should be able to tell them. If you do not have options and you are confirmed that this is the only method which should be <coughs> done and to get the success in this particular situation. And competency based questions are also asked in the interview because based on your technical skills. Company identifies key skills required in this particular job and they will be judging you on those key skills. Designs questions to elicit evidence of skills and there will be questions based on the technicals, technical skills which you possess. Emphasis on past behavior as predictor of success will be used. They want to know the teamwork. Describe a team project you handled. So, you will be narrating them a team project and for that you should be ready with your answer. In the subsequent slides, I will be discussing the method which should be adopted to answer such type of questions. Communication skills, then you will be judged on the communication skills. Describe situation when you had to persuade others to support your view. So, you will be narrating some situation and you will be judged on your communication skills. Interpersonal skills, what kinds of people do you find it difficult to work with? They will be asking you a question and this will be regarding your interpersonal skills and taking responsibility. Describe a time when you took responsibility to, to achieve a challenging goal. Again, some situation you have to explain and problem solving. A problem will be given and you will be asked to give a solution. Rather, you will be asked to give a procedure to solve a problem. And the way you narrate, they will be judging your problem solving techniques. And preparing for competency interviews. And there are competency interviews, you have to prepare for that. So, for that, identify the competencies required for a particular job. List them and prepare yourself very well. Review job description or ask for information if it is not available to you. Define each competency in behavioral terms. Identify past experience to illustrate how you demonstrated there that behavior in fulfilling that particular competency. Prepare examples for each competency. Again, you have to prepare well before going for the interview. Practice talking about your experience. Try to give a complete answer and the method to be used is STAR method, S-T-A-R. And now, I will share with you the meaning of STAR. Give me an example of a problem you encountered. 
how did you approach it what was the outcome this is a question being asked to you in the interview you should use this star method to give a reply to this question s stands for describe the situation s is for situation here you will be describing them the situation and for that that situation you should be ready with and t t meaning is task what task did you perform for that particular situation explain the task oblique problem that arose here you have to tell about the task a stands for action what action did you take in that particular situation and r stands for results and what are the results you achieved here you have described a situation you have described about the tasks and you have described about your own action and finally what sort of results you achieved you have described about those and this is the procedure for describing a situation always use this procedure so that you are able to narrate your situation in a effective manner again there are some matching skills employer needs communication presentation teamwork example from cooperation leadership again some example it skills again some example commercial awareness again some example should be ready with you and your answer should be such that when you are answering first listen carefully what the interviewers are telling are asking you listen carefully if clarification is required seek clarification and then illustrate answers with real examples and evidences and these real examples and evidences should be readily available with you because you have prepared well for this interview and in the preparation you have prepared yourself for these kind of situations for these kind of evidences and be positive always be positive and you should have a constructive criticism if the interviewers are criticizing you okay then have a positive attitude show that you are willingly here to know your criticism also keep answers specific and succinct take time to respond be alert to interviewers body language you should be always you should not be asking again and again i didn't listen please repeat i you should not be repeating this again and again speak then clearly smile and show enthusiasm you have to show that you are enthusiastic to get this particular job and know what you want to say and find the opportunity to say that thing because you are sitting in a seat and i would say that you are ceo of your interview you can take the interview to a point where you want to take it you have prepared certain things you can make interviewers ask the questions which you have prepared well and only thing you are to prepare well in advance qualities employers seek what sort of qualities are there which all employers seek in the candidates good all round intelligence is the first thing which every employer is looking in the candidate enthusiasm there should not be any dull approach to the interview candidate should always show the enthusiasm commitment and motivation he is to show that he is always motivated for this particular job and then good communication skills whatever you communicate whatever you speak whatever you tell it should be effective and it should be clear and it should be clearly understood by the interviewers and the way you tell them tell the complete story teamwork ability you should not give the impression that you will work as a stand alone employee you should tell them you are going to be a good team member contributing a lot to the organization's goal 
and you, ability to solve problems. You have to show that you have a capability, you have a ability to solve the problems and you have solved the problems in the past also and you have learned lot of good techniques, maybe technical techniques, maybe lateral thinking techniques. You have to show that you are able to solve the problem and capacity to work hard and you have to again show that you are a hard worker and you work till the jobs are achieved and you have to tell this in the interview. Initiative and self-reliance and you have to show that you are there to take the initiative. If any problem is there, you are there to take the initiative rather than following others. Balanced personality, again you have to show that you have a balanced personality. Balanced personality means a good and effective combination of technical skills as well as soft skills. Competence is required by a particular company. A company is taking an interview and they are looking for the following con competencies in the candidates. Adaptability, candidate should be able to adapt himself to the situation in which he is going to be put in for that particular job. Integrity, integrity is the most important thing which every employer look forward to in the candidate's behavior. Innovation, every day something new, something new solution to any problem should be available from the candidate. Teamwork, initiative, drive for results, drive for results and not for stories. Know the business, only you talk about the business. Open exchange of information, top to bottom and bottom to top communication flow should be there and you have to show that you are in for this kind of communication system and makes difficult decisions also. You are there to take difficult decisions also. And your questions, you should also be ready with your questions. You can ask the training programs which are available for the person who will be handling the job for which you are being interviewed. Career development questions are the opportunities available in the organization for the job for which he is being selected. Types of projects and responsibilities which are going to be given to the candidate. Reporting structure, you can ask the question on the reporting structure. Performance appraisal system also you can ask them. And you can also ask the profile of the staff. Questions about topics raised in the interview. Some questions are raised in the interview, you can ask about those questions also. What happens next also you can ask them and you should be ready with your questions when you appear for the interview. A particular marking sheet in the interview, communication skills 30 marks, a typical scorecard is here. Based on this sheet score is given for different candidate, problem solving techniques 20, team fit skills again 20, relevant experience 20, project management 10 and then total and then candidate is reviewed on the performance in the interview. What creates a bad impression? Now we shall be discussing there are certain things which are bad which we should avoid also in the interview. Poor personal appearance. Your appearance should be really good and pleasing. The way you dress, it should be really liked by others. Negative attitude is not liked by anybody in the interview. You have to show positive. You should not have evasive and using excuses. No excuse should be given to, in the interview. If you do not know the answer, tell, sorry, I do not know the answer and no excuse be given there for not knowing the answer. Lack of interest and enthusiasm should never be present in the interview. 
lack of preparation. It means you should prepare well in advance before going for the interview. Poor knowledge of the role, again it is a something which should not be there. Failure to give concrete examples of your skills. When you have mentioned some of the skills, you should have complete examples ready with you which should be narrating in the interview because somebody will be asking you, you have shown project management skills, what sort of projects you have handled in the past and you should be ready with your answer and based on the star method or star technique, you should be narrating your answer. Over emphasis on money and reward should not be given in the interview. Here, something is known to you. You are appearing for the interview. You know that what is the salary you will be offered. When you know it, don't ask them again and don't tell them to increase it also because you know the salary part and, for, and after that you are going for the interview. And don't ask anything about the money and the rewards in, in this situation or at this stage. Lack of career plan. You are not to show that you are lacking in your career plan. And these are the impressions one should avoid. After the interview, certain things are to be done by you. Review your own performance. When you come back from the interview, you have to review what you did in the interview, what sort of questions were asked, and what sort of answers you gave. What went well? Again, you have to make a list. What went badly? What you wished you had said? And prepare for next stage. And you have to prepare yourself for the next stage. Invitation to second final round interviews. Assessment center are there, psychrometric tests are there, and panel interviews are there. The panel is sitting and the panel interviews are held. And maybe rejection letter or email is there. If you can request feedback, use it. We have covered aspects regarding the interview skills. In life, everyone has to face the interview once or more than once. If we know how to tackle this situation and if we prepare well, we can have good chances of success. The key note here or the key point is we should be preparing and preparing and preparing and then attending the interview. You have to prepare yourself and you, you have to prepare yourself for the organization for which you are being interviewed. I hope I am able to cover some aspects of the interview skills which reviewers or the viewers can use in attending the interview so that they can get the job at their own terms and job of their own choice. I would like to know if any question is there. I am here to answer the questions. Otherwise, now we are winding it up. Thank you very much for attending to the session on interview skills. Thank you.